Hello everyone, we are Another Nerdy Couple, and in today's video, it's that time, my favorite time of the week, for another Mandalorian review. And let me just say, right off the bat, wow. Wow. And I don't wow. say that often. What an episode. But we gotta start at the beginning. Mm -hmm, the but beginning. the beginning of our episode is first impressions. First impressions, all right. Nine. Nine? Nine. That's the highest I got on. The last one, mm -hmm. um, I looked through and I was like, so the last one that I voted high mm -hmm. was when we met um, Bogotan. Okay. And that one I gave an eight. Because mm -hmm. I was like, this is fire. Right. Um, and I loved um, the the three Mandos and yeah. like the Lady Mando. Like, mm -hmm. I loved it. And that one I started out, first impressions with a seven and then mm -hmm. changed it to an eight. Yeah. So, like, this is better than that. Right. So, that's a nine. Because, yeah. like, it was just, ah. Oh. What, what did you give to Ahsoka? I don't remember. You don't remember? I didn't or... write it down. We didn't have our book. We I were think, on vacation. Yeah. I, think it, I think it was around an eight as well. I don't think it was a nine. Yeah, I don't think it was a nine. Yeah. I think, like, I tried to figure it out and I was like, I probably did, like, a seven mm -hmm. or just eight. Yeah. You know, like, I knew about where I was. Right. And, like I said, Ahsoka's episode was, like, it was good. Just don't, don't, don't. It was Do good. Not give me that. But I had like, I had reservations about anyway, it. Anyway, we're not talking about Ahsoka. All right. We're talking Great about episode. this episode. <laughs> yes, the tragedy. The tragedy. Um, but I got to give my first impression, which you might be surprised. 10 out of 10. What, what do you think? <laughs> I love how I was expecting what a surprise. I was think? really expecting him to be like, you know, I only thought it was an eye. No. 10 out of 10. I honestly think that the next two episodes, because I think there's only two episodes left, uh, will also be 10 out of 10s. Because, like, The Mandalorian is just a really great show. We're, yeah, like, we're finally really hitting the ground, and we're right. picking it up. Oh, 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 something's getting picked up. <laughs> we'll get to that. Anyway, beginning of the episode, right? I Opening thought it was so scene. cute. I love yeah. it. He was like, Grogu? Yeah. And then Grogu was <laughs> yeah. And then he was like, ha, ha. Yeah. Grogu. Yeah. And Grogu was like, yeah. Yeah. And I was like, ah! He's just like, right. he's like, I know your name now. Like, he exactly. was so he excited was so yeah. to be able to, like, call him his name. Yeah. And I thought that was the sweetest I thing. It was, it was incredible. Like, oh my gosh. And, you know, as I've been doing the season, I've been looking at the opening scenes and being like, okay, how, how much do I like this opening scene? And for this one, I wrote 10 tears out of 10. <laughs> I saw you. It was so nice. And like, it's it's crazy. And it's really nice to, to see the different things that they do in the opening scenes that it's not just action scenes or stuff like yeah, that. Like I they've think... had funny scenes as well. Yeah. And this one was just like emotional. And it's like, it's like really just building that connection between Mando and Grogu. Yeah. And I think the first time we saw an opening scene this season that was mm -hmm. not action. A, an action one, you were kind of like, mm, mm -hmm. like, I wanted to see Mando right. kicking butt. Right. And so, like, this scene was, like, so good. Right. And it yeah, was like, like you, you don't you don't yeah. care that he's not exactly. kicking butt. Like, you, you love to see him dad, mm -hmm. too, right. you know? Yeah. And you know what? It also helps that the whole rest of the episode, Mando's kicking butt. Yeah. You know? So Obviously. He's got to. I got, I got nothing to complain about here. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, so they have that little thing, and then you know Mando tests him with the ball again using the force and stuff, that which was really cute. Uh, but they get to Typhon, Typhon, Typhon. Typhon. I just don't know where to put the emphasis. Typhon. Uh, <laughs> um, anyway, so they get there, and Mando puts Grogu on the rock, and he's like, "Do your thing," <laughs> you know. <Right? laughs> yeah. Like, what are you doing? Like, what, what's, how to, like, come on, just do it, right? Yeah. And the whole time, he's just not doing it, right? Yeah. And the beginning time, he's just like, all right, like, what, is like, are you going to, is something yeah. going to happen? I also <laughs> thought it was really interesting, like, when Mando, like, started looking for, like, a buddy yeah. or something. Yeah. I was like, he is so mechanical right. and, like, thinks in that way. Yeah. Um, And it's so interesting because, like, that's not the Jedi. Like, it's very right. nature mm -hmm. and, like. Right, you have to feel it. It's it's all around you. Yeah. yeah. And so like he's there and he's looking for it, but I did see like the ring. Yeah. Like the writing. The yeah. I didn't see that before. Before he did his like his view on thing. it. Yeah. And no no no. Oh, no, no. oh Mando's view. Mando's oh. view showed oh. it. 
I didn't notice that. And so I was like, there's something. I was like, Amanda, there's something. You're missing it. But like he he, was looking at the ground. Yeah, but he also like there wasn't a button. Like it wasn't like it was clear. I was like, ah, so there's some writing, you know? Yeah, whatever. I can't read it anyway. Exactly. Um, And then when it lit up, I was like, oh, sick. Like that's the thing. Right. And, And like that approach that he has, which is like very different in terms of Star Wars. It's like, you know, he's doing it. I'm like, I still wonder if he has his reservations about, like, believing in the Force. Yeah. You know, like, he's seen the kid do it, Grogu do it, but he's like, there has to be, like, some type of mechanism here that you spring and then, you know, like, whatever. Yeah. But that's not the case. It's not the case. And Space then, wizards. Yeah, I also thought it was really cool. So, like, he's like, come on, Grogu, just, like, do it, you know? <laughs> yeah. And then um, he, like, turns around or he's like, okay, well, whatever, like, maybe it was when the ship was coming in, he was mm-hmm. like, well, I'm going to leave you here. Like, right. whatever the case, he turned away from yeah. the, the Grogu, mm-hmm. and then it happened. Yeah, like, as soon as it happened. And the reason he turned away is because, ba 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 Slave One comes flying in. And I was hyped seeing Slave One come in. She had no idea what was happening. I was like, look, a ship! A ship! Yeah. And, you know, obviously, uh, to me, that means... Boba Fett's in town like he mm-hmm. like that that person that we saw is in fact Boba Fett and he here for something right yeah and you don't know what yet you're like is he trying to take Grogu away from us right because I... you know the 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 name of the episode is the tragedy yeah it's I like, wrote down I went Boba working for Moff Gideon right? like what I mean, he is a bounty no? hunter he um, is a bounty hunter he's worked with the Empire before so it's like you know <laughs> yeah but i was happen. like no like they can't do right? this they can't to do me, me like this you know and so yeah that's what happened like the mm-hmm. ship came in um mando like looked away to go right. like see the ship and then was like oh kid we gotta go and turns around and like the thing's up mm-hmm. and he's seeing you know yeah. like he's on the seeing rock and he's seeing slumming, exactly. you know and he's like yeah <laughs> and we're like oh right. no <laughs> And and Mando tries to get to him to mm-hmm. the, to Grogu, but the force field too strong, can't get in, can't too go through. Strong. So he's like, all right, let me go deal with this problem because obviously Mando doesn't know who Boba Fett is or what he's about, yeah. right? So he goes and he gets shot at, da, 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 right? Mm-hmm. And he oof, scared me. And then uh, Boba Fett's like, hey man, let's chat, mm-hmm. right? And Mando's like, sus though. Let's not though. <laughs> <laughs> like oh, I'm gonna have my gun though. Yeah. <laughs> And so they're talking, and Boba Fett's like, listen, man, I just want my armor, mm-hmm. right? Like, that's that's all I want. And Mando's like, are you uh, one of us, though? Are you a Mando, like me? And Boba Fett's kind of, like, not directly answering that question. He's like, mm, you know, oh, Mando asked him, like, have you taken the creed? Mm-hmm. And Boba Fett's like, I, 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 um... I answered a no man. He said something. Yeah, he like I. Something. He said something. Deep. I work for no one, you know, right. like that was, just that kind right. of. I serve no attitude. nothing, something like that. Mm-hmm. Vague, vague answer. Yeah, right? and then also like when he asked about if he was a Mandalorian, he's like, "Oh, I'm just a man traveling right. the world yeah. or this universe, the galaxy, galaxy, probably, <laughs> probably." Right. So, uh, Mando's obviously like, "I'm not giving you this because this belongs to the Mandalorians, and I am not convinced that you're one of us." Mm, yeah. Um, and then Boba Fett's like, listen, if you don't, I got my sniper on you. Well, I've got my sniper. And if, as soon as my body hits the floor, they're going to shoot their shot as well. Yeah. And Mando's like, I got armor though. Like, mm-hmm. what? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And Boba Fett's like, I wasn't talking about you. Yeah. You know, she's looking at Grogu and Mando's like, Good now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. And then they look and it's Fennec that we saw from season one. Fennec? Uh, Fennec. 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 You know. You know. You know, you know her. You know about. her. And she's alive. Yeah. What? She got <laughs> Robotom. She got Robotom. Who would have thought? So, you know, she's like, I ain't, I ain't gonna miss my shot, you know? So he's like, okay. Uh, you know, Mando's like, all right, let's let's all calm down a little bit and uh, we, we, we can talk. Uh, you've changed my mind. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And Boba Fett says, like, listen, if you give me my armor, I will help you. I'll protect you and the child 
and that's that's the deal. That's our deal, right? Yeah. And Mando's. I like, don't think he said you and your child. Well, he, he first. Said, I think first he said you, and then he was like, "I only care about the child," and then it became just the child. Oh. I think. I thought it was just a we'll protect the child. Yeah. I don't know. No harm will come to the child. Right. Um. But anyway, so Mando's like. You know, thinking it over, and then... Bum, bum, bum. Shoom, shoom. Exactly. Stormtroopers. Imperial personnel carrier comes through, right? Stormtroopers. Stormtroopers start running out. <laughs> and in their conversation, Mando took off his jetpack as a sign of like, I ain't being... Yeah, I'm it not was like, sus. she'll put down her gun if you take off your jetpack. Right. So he put it down, and now the stormtroopers are out, and Mando dips. He's just like, I'm going to Grogu. I gotta get I gotta, Grogu. I gotta protect him, get him out of there. And now these two, uh, Boba Fett and Fennec, are fighting the stormtroopers. Yeah. And so Mandalorian, Mando goes back and he tries to get through the force field again. Doesn't work. He gets knocked out. So now we're seeing the fight scene between these two and the stormtroopers. And let me tell you, I was wondering what the heck was on Boba Fett's back this whole time. I wrote down. I said, now that's a sick spear. Because you guys know <laughs> I was not a huge fan no, no, no. of the best Scar best Steel steel spear. spear. Yeah. I was like, meh. Yeah. Um, but yo, this thing was cool. It was it was talking. very cool. And something that I that I noticed that I kind of wrote down was that like it's a little bit humorous in the Star Wars universe. To be smacking people with a blunt object. Like, because one of it, one part of it is blunt and the other part of it is stabby. Yeah. And the first thing that we see is him just like knocking heads yeah, with the blunt aspect. With the blunt that aspect. part has, it a... has It has a thing, but like, you know. Mm-hmm. And like, it's just, it's just not very Star Wars y, this weapon. But all we've ever seen is the Jedi and the Sith using their like, you know, crazy magic weapons. But like, this is a normal person using a normal weapon. So it's just it's just interesting and funny that like this is this is normal to him, you yeah. know? <laughs> yeah. And it's like just smacking somebody with it in this futuristic kind of world. It's just like I'm gonna hit you hard, you know? <laughs> right. <laughs> but like there was one stormtrooper that he hit in like the face or something, oh, and you and saw it, the psh- whole yeah, like sh- just face shattered. Thing, just like Ugh, you it know, was, it was sick. It was absolutely yeah. incredible. And like to watch. so, he was hitting them hard. 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 and he is old <laughs> he's old he's old and boy. he is chonky he's thick he's a little chonky you know he's thick he's a you know. it happens <laughs> but he was whacking up man absolutely just, yeah laying it down yeah you know that's the spear part he's yeah. a, spear too. <laughs> a spearman yeah he goes yeah yeah and like just whoosh, with the gun mm-hmm. too and just like destroying yeah, yeah. And, and over the course of fighting the stormtroopers uh, Boba Fett comes across Mando's ship, and he's like, "Hmm, you're not gonna give me the armor? Maybe I just, maybe I take, I take it. it. I just, I take it. I take it. You know." So he does that, but we don't really see him do that. It it switches yeah. to Fennec, who yeah. is very adaptable, good at imp- improvising, mm-hmm. because you know she's getting she's fighting these stormtroopers, but then they pull out the mortar and the turret, and she's like. I'm all alone right now because Boba Fett, I don't know where he went, right? And now she gets behind this big old rock and they shoot the mortar at it and it kind of gives a little bit and she's like, I know what to do. I, know what to do. I have the high ground. They're down there. Let me just yeah. whoop, push it. I push it. And I was rooting for her, man. I was telling her, use your robot abs, please. And she listened. She listened. She, she did. Gah! And that thing came rolling down like Indiana Jones. And honestly, that person on the turret, just jump out the way. Right. It's he was there rock. like trying to shoot it. And I was like, rock. dude, what are you doing? Just move. Like, just, <laughs> you know where you it's going. You had time. Right? Um, but I love that scene, just fighting the stormtroopers. And like, it was great. And I'm, I'm glad you said Indiana Jones. Because I was like, oh, how funny. Like, yeah. uh, that's such a classic trope. And like, I wanted to bring it up. Mm-hmm. Like the rock coming down the hill. But I could not remember right. where it was from. But Indiana Jones. Indiana. So funny. They do a lot of like tropey right. things. Yeah. And I like it. Yeah. And... So Mando's up there, but then he finally comes to and sees the stormtroopers and sees his his uh, his new acquaintances fighting mm-hmm. them. So he's like, 
let me let me go down there and hit him with an assist. Before that, like an idiot, he goes oh, yeah, and tries, he tries again. Yeah, he does and try like, again. Dude, it's not yeah. working. <laughs> like, like work. this is the definition of insanity. <laughs> yeah. You are doing the same thing. Over and over again, getting the same result. Exactly. Like, stop. So then he's eventually like, listen, kid, I'm going to protect you, all right? I'm going to go there. Just don't don't let them get to you, you yeah. know? But we don't even know if, if Grogu can even hear him. Mm -hmm. um, so he goes down there, and now he's fighting back-to-back -back with, with Fennec. And, you know, he's doing, he's shooting, he's doing his thing, but they're, they're getting overpowered. And something that I just really appreciated is that, like, you know, she is not wearing any, like, legit armor, and he's got his best car steel, so he just stands in front of her, and he's blocking all these shots that the stormtroopers are finally hidden. And, like, you know, he, it, it, he, it he does something, like but, he... but he's, he's still just go, going strong, you know, not falling down or anything. I'm like, okay, like, you know, we can do this, slowly pick him off and stuff. It'll take a little bit, but then... Boom, he comes in and he's shooting the stuff and he's got the rockets and it's Boba Fett in his suit because I didn't say that yet. <laughs> yeah, you just said he. <laughs> but you know who he is. Exactly, everyone knows. And, you know, he comes in with a grenade and he starts shooting these people and I'm like, okay, this is even more menacing than before with the, with the, the spear thingy. Mm -hmm. And my favorite thing, I don't think, I don't know if I remember seeing this in the actual Star Wars movies, but like he's got knee rockets. Knee rocket. That was sick. And then once once the stormtroopers saw that too, they they started they, running. They're like, I uh -uh. thought that was so funny. They <laughs> legit like ran away. They're like, I'm not fighting nobody with knee rockets, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do no knee right? rockets. So they start running and they get into their ship and, uh, and they start flying away. And then, as we saw in the previous episodes with the marshal, you who was using his armor, you know, he used the uh, the rocket as well. Uh, Boba Fett's like, you know what? It's been a while, but I still remember how this thing works. Let me use it, right? So he deep, pew, shoots the rocket. Now, both of these ships are flying away, and the rocket hits the top ship, and the top ship falls. Pew, hits the bottom ship. ship. Incredible. Yeah, I thought it was <laughs> hilarious. So he does that, and then um, Mando's like, oh, good shot. And he mm -hmm. was like, I was aiming for the oh, other no. one. And I was like, no, <laughs> dude, you hit the right one. You right, know you did. Right. Like that was that was incredible, and I just I just loved seeing that happen. Like you got one rocket, you got <laughs> there's two ships, you know. Yeah. So that was awesome. Yeah. But then, it then. it takes a turn. It okay. certainly takes a turn. <laughs> I'm not over it. Because Moff Gideon sends in the dark troopers, and they're flying in like some evil Iron Man suits. Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay, we're we're about to, it's about to go down, right? Like, this is called the tragedy. We're going to lose this fight, right? Yeah. And so Mando sees these people flying in, these these four robots. They're, mm. they're robots, they're robots. Uh, flying in. And he starts running because he still doesn't have his jetpack on. So he just starts running. Uh, towards Grogu and at this point Grogu doesn't have his force field yeah so I wanted to bring that up so after after we see Boba Fett mm -hmm. um kicking butt with his suit on Mando goes back up to check mm -hmm. on Grogu yeah and then yeah. the second he turns around to like go right. down and like right. protect right. him some more Grogu's force yeah, field drops down. yeah and you're just and like, like uh, oh, turn man. around. I'm like, right? check like, on him one more time. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you know? But no. And so, and like, he was obviously using the force and stuff. And that mm -hmm. always makes him so tired. So he just yeah. like falls asleep, falls asleep on the rock. And you're just like, no. Right. And I was, I was ready for a fight scene, right? Like when I saw them get deployed from the ship, I'm like, it's yeah. going to be a fight. Yeah. And we're going to get to see what these guys right. can what, do. What they can like, do. I was excited. But I think I like how it happened that we didn't even get to fight them. Yeah. You know? Like, we just, we couldn't get there in time. So right. he's, like, running up the, that's where we, he was mm -hmm. running up the mountain to try to get back to Grogu. And we get, like, almost right. there. And, and they just. They land. They pick him up. Right. And they just And they just leave. leave. Like, they the Mandalorian and his crew is so clearly just like an obstacle in the way of the child, right? Like they're just 
a nuisance. Yeah. Not even worth fighting or stopping. Yeah. You know? Like, I think one of the stormtroopers even said, like, we're not here for you. Right. You know? Yeah. Like, get out of my way. Right. <laughs> I and, don't want to kill you. And before the the shadow, the dark troopers came in, they blew up Mando's ship. So mm-hmm. he couldn't even pursue them. Right? Yeah. But we still have Boba Fett's ship. But before, the fight scene would have been awesome. Right? But I think with them being so tropey, right? you expect the trope that we get there right before they get there and then there's a fight. Yeah. But it kind of like, it it kind of has gotten you into the groove of like, we're following these tropes and like things just happen to work out. But this one just happened to not work out yeah. for us, you know? And, yeah. and I appreciate that. And like, I would have loved the fight, but this yeah. works, you know? Yeah. So. Um, yeah. And so Boba Fett's in his little ship mm-hmm. and he's following them and he's like, oh, I can see him. I can shoot him down. Like, whatever. And then they're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't hurt the kid. Right, right. Like, you can shoot down the other three. Yeah. But like, you what's know? that going to do? But like, you shoot down the other three, you get closer, you yeah. do some stuff and you fly us right. up there too. Like, we yeah. don't fight him. Right. We got, we can take one robot. Yeah. But uh, as he gets close to where they came from, he, Boba Fett's like, oh, the empire's back like they're they're here you know because before we thought like oh there's just like these groups here and there and they're not very well like put together and stuff but like they got an imperial cruiser like that is nothing nothing to mess around with you know yeah and he's like they're they're here Mm. and they're forceful you know like i can't i can't do anything about this Mm -hmm. i can't stop them so he just kind of pulls off and that's more or less like the end of the episode you know yeah. and it's just like dang bro. yeah i do want to talk about the little like <laughs> i want to call it like a post credit scene yeah, yeah. but like it's it still in the, the episode credits, yeah. yeah it's a pre credit scene mm-hmm. <laughs> um, a scene if you will <laughs> <laughs> no but like you yeah. like you said yeah, like that was the end right, of the episode right. um and we see grogu in the ship mm-hmm. and he's just smack his stormtroopers oh, left yes. and white white <laughs> and right, right. left <laughs> the and right just... are, do have white armor <laughs> um and he's just throwing them around knocking them into each other right and like um two more come in with moth gideon and they like uh, have like a gun and they're like mm-hmm. ready to shoot right. him and then he's like, he's like no <laughs> hold up let him continue well, and so ja, 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 and we see it and i'm like yes grogu get it mm-hmm. and then i'm like wait a second yeah and so moth gideon starts talking to him and i'm like shoot <laughs> they wear him out on purpose. Mm-hmm. Like, they throw in these stormtroopers, right. and then they're like, ah, yeah, fight him, ha. Yeah, huh? exactly. And then he falls asleep because he's so tired because he's so hard. Yeah. And then they got a sleep gun, too. Mm-hmm. And then they're like, shackle him, and then call him yeah. and say, we've got a donor. And I'm just like, mm-hmm. no, my poor baby. Yeah. Now, one thing that interests me, mm-hmm. and it's very hard to, to prove because, I mean, Grogu is a, a puppet here, so it's hard to read his emotions. But he looked angry. Mm. He looked, and he was doing some, some things with that force. Some not so light side of the force type uh, thing. There, there may have been a choke. Right, exactly. There and he was, he was, you know, exerting some power onto these, onto these people. And I know. Oh, uh, that my everybody might not like the fact that he might not be a Jedi, but I love the idea of him at least being a gray character. He doesn't have to be full dark side, but like, I don't want him to be a nice person, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I want Rogu to be awful, <laughs> just a little awful, you know. Yeah, you want an anti-hero, right? And kind of like Mando. Yeah. And that's that's something that we'll get into in a little bit. But there was one more thing that I wanted to say. Oh, yes. I, earlier for one of the past episodes, we, we regrouped with, you know, our old crew that we were rolling around with. And I was talking about how, like, uh, like I like it more of just Mando and the child. But, <laughs> but Boba Fett. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm like, we can be a team now. Right? Like, I'll take Mando and Boba Fett mm-hmm. and this Finnick girl. Like, yeah. eh, eh. I, she's in the background. I I want a crew of Mando and Boba Fett. Like, anyone else, I don't care. Like, they're here, they're there, I don't care. But Mando and Boba Fett, 
I'm here for it. Yeah. That is a crew that I I can get that I can get behind, you know? Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah. So one question that I wanted to ask you is do you think anybody picked up the force phone when Grogu was calling? I don't know. Or do you think he just gave up? I wanna I wanna say that for the sake of the show, mm-hmm. I think Ahsoka picked up the Force phone. But she that's a call she was expecting, though. You know? Yeah. So And she already, in person, was like, I don't want this. Like, I don't want this responsibility. I don't think I can teach him. This I is not for me. I think she just, she needed him to choose it. Like, she and needed him true. to know the consequences and know what was at stake and mm-hmm. know more about it right and to choose to be a jedi because right now it was kind of mando choosing it Mm -hmm. and um their connection being too too strong and so this was grogu saying i want to do this i know that this might mean i can't be friends with mando yeah and my brother shout out to my brother uh gave me his idea that maybe obi-wan kenobi going to answer this call. And but that's, he's dead. He's not. Oh. This this takes place... Uh, he's not dead yet. <laughs> Is he? Wait. He should be dead. Mm, brother. He <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think about this. He should be dead. Because no this idea. is... After the, the New Republic has taken over, the Empire is defeated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he should he's be dead. dead. He's dead. So that doesn't count. <laughs> yeah, so uh, scratch that. Yeah. Um, but no, but like I don't, like we haven't heard about any other Jedi coming right. to the show. Yeah. And so like if anything, I think that's going to be like a season three answered phone call. Yeah. I don't think we're going right. to hear much about it. Yeah, but then also. Season. And like also you got to think about it, like did he even choose to call? You know, because, like, he was right. supposed to see things anyways. Yeah. And then he had to choose and, like, right. reach out into the forest. Right. Like, did he reach out? Right. And did we he reach know. out to the right direction? Okay. There's two sides. There's two, There's sides, two sides to this. And the force is just blue no matter if you're dark or light, I think. I never seen, I've never seen the dark force embodied. I've never seen it either. Um, I've never seen the light force embodied. But uh, it, it also... Maybe Ahsoka changed her mind just because, like, she to have her for one episode, like, yeah, no, she's coming back, she's coming back. That's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> we need her back, and like, she's gonna be in the fight, and we're gonna see the white right. saber, the, hit lights, the black the, saber. Oh, okay, okay, okay. The dark, the, yeah, okay. The her white lightsabers and her his dark saber, yeah, okay. I was just confused because you called it a white saber, and I was like, lightsaber, <laughs> no, her, <laughs> dark saber, her white saber and his black saber, mm-hmm. they're gonna hit, it's gonna right. be cool, yeah, that's gonna happen. It has to. So Ahsoka's coming back, and the only way <laughs> that back, I can bro. think of her coming back is for that, you know, like for Grogu to have reached out to her. Yeah, but what could he have possibly said? I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll just have to find out. Season but. three. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'll let you know right now. Season three. Next episode. I yeah. I. What do you think? Do you think we're going to save Grogu this season by the end of these next two episodes? I think we have to, don't we? Isn't that how a season works? I mean, seasons also work by leaving you off on a cliffhanger. Yeah, but not like your main characters in danger. Okay, but and all right. Captured. Consider this: we save Grogu, kill Moff Gideon. No, we don't kill Moff Gideon. How else do we save him? Moff Gideon is literally—he has him. Do we just go in and steal it? We steal him again. We stole him once. We can steal him again. Yeah, but then if if that's the case, then, then like we'll always it's, be stealing exactly. Him. Like, uh, then it's just this like season three will just be season two, but a little bit different, you know? Yeah, you're right. So it's like no, if if we it, if we don't save him, that leads to a more compelling season three. I think. I mean, obviously, I don't know. I'm not a show writer, um, but. But we could, like... I just don't know what's going to happen in season three if we do. All right. If there's two episodes left, we're going to get close to saving him. Next episode. Next episode. We're going to find out who he called Mm -hmm. the last episode. They're going to come in and finish help saving. Mm -hmm. And then following episode, uh, season three, we're going to see... The training. Rogu go through the training and become, like, a Jedi or whatever. 
and like somehow have Mando still be a part mm-hmm. of this and right. like they're allowed to stay friends. <laughs> and everybody lives happily ever after. <laughs> yes. Because that's the other thing too. Like if Grogu, go- Grogu goes mm-hmm. Jedi, mm-hmm. he like he has, has to, to leave. He has to cut, off, cut him off. Yeah, he has to leave Mando and like we're, we can't have the Mandalorian right. without Grogu. Right. So I don't know. Man, I'm very, very excited for these next couple of episodes and, you know, the next season. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, final thoughts. Final thoughts. Nine out of ten. Not mu- good, not budging? No. Good, great episode. I think we can do more. And, like, I I know this was a sick episode and it was so good. But, like, the next episode where we have... Um, where we have Boba Fett in full mm-hmm. armor the whole time. Yeah. And we have Mando kicking butt right. trying to save his baby the whole time. Right. Like, that's going to be sick. Yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully a fight between Mando and Moff Gideon. Exactly. That would be very fun. That would be very fun. What do you got? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Dude, just good, good TV. Good really TV. good. I just, like, I watched the episode and I'm happy that I watched it every time. You yeah, know? I, I, I was excited for this one. Like, and I, like... Not excited coming in, but, like, excited watching it. I'm right. like, yes, yes, mm-hmm. yes. Yeah. Um, and sometimes, like, I'm not, like, 100 in it. And, like, I mm-hmm. really was today. Yeah. So that was awesome. Yeah. All right. Um, thank you so much for watching. Drop your rating down below in the comment section. And like and subscribe so you don't miss our next uh, Mandalorian review or our Hollow Knight videos that are out right now. Right. Those are super fun. Mm-hmm. You get to see us playing a Hollow Knight, which is cool. Yeah. Um, so thanks for watching and see you next time.